Okay, Ruler, settle down. Ruler School is brought to you by Odyssey Games, where you can go to get singles for all your Force of Will and other trading card games, as well as these amazing patrons. Special thanks to guest lecturer member, Vite Raman. Thank you for your support. Class is in session. Hey there, Rulers. DMO73 here, bringing you the deck profile for the updated Dark Alice. Just a heads up again, if you haven't already checked it out, Odyssey does have pre-orders for the 7th. Coming on right now, you can check the link in the description to go to their page. They have pre-orders for pre-release kits and main set. So, go ahead and pick those up, and let's dig right in. So, obviously, we're playing Dark Alice. We're kind of trying to use... Um, Dark Alice herself pretty heavily and to kind of be able to support her really well using the Sigurd Rhea package to get to things like, um, things like Institute to be able to pump her up so she's just really, really huge and got this Drain Bane kind of defensive package as well as continually wiping the board, um, with that ability, obviously, and then applying pressure with things like, you know, little small creatures suddenly becoming bigger creatures, things to being able to flick, uh, use Schrodinger to be able to flicker, to get more ma magical, uh, Magic Stone Research Institutes, all kinds of stuff. So, nothing too crazy out of the ordinary. We're just going to kind of go ahead and go through the profile here and, let, and see what you think. So, obviously, we're playing Dark Alice, um, being able to generate those uh, crystals really nicely. Uh, stone base wise, we're playing two Stone of the Six Sages, four Adaractia's Memoria, and then one each of Heaven's Rift, Black Silence, Gusting Sky and Ragnarok's Fiery Stone. This is because we want a bunch of different stones to be able to play to get the most benefit off of Institute, obviously. Fantastic addition, fantastic card, just really good if you're in this color combination. Then we're playing four copies of Mikage Rhea, two copies of Shadow X, three Shadow Swordsmaster, a single copy of Sigurd, which is a little bit greedy, we know, but it's, you know, you gotta find room somewhere. Three copies of Yggdrasil, the Heroic Tree, so that you can get access to your Unknown Mother Goose faster. Four Flute for a little bit of extra ramp. Again, we want to be able to flip Dark Alice pretty comfortably and be able to keep her safe, so having some ramp is really nice. Um, I added in another copy of Save the Queen, because as we said in the feature match, being able to flip into applying a minus four, minus four on your opponent's side of the field is pretty relevant with all the wine, uh, four, um, one cost four fours that we have flying around or one cost one ones or stuff like that it can put in a lot of work next up we have um four copies of schrodinger scribe for some removal two charlotte's light transformation magic to be able to deal with other j rulers uh, as well as spot you know think tricky additions or things like eternal three copies of one pair to get some more gems two an economicon barrier for some enter effect hate four of the regalia three schrodinger two gauge of mother goose for some spot removal as well and then three um two copies of magic zone research institute some things that you could note about this deck is you could try to find more room for um things like dark alice's smile or other mage arts just to kind of make maybe an early game discard package as opposed to the ray of package if you want to go more into a control but those are just some options for you there let us know what you think or if you have a take on dark alice that you've been playing around with with more of saga cluster we'd be interested to hear it and until next time this is dmo73 saying class dismissed <laughs>